I'm Rachel. I am the third officer on board the RRS Discovery. So I did my cadetship at the City of Glasgow College and I was originally on liquid petroleum gas tankers and then I moved on to general cargo ships and then I was on the James Cook, which is the other ship in the fleet of the National Oceanography Centre. And then from there when I qualified, I applied for the third officer job and I've been here ever since. That was 2019 when I first came to the company. When I initially told my friends that I was going to join the Merchant Navy, they were very surprised. I'd always been a dancer and I'd originally gone to dance college, so it was a bit of a career change for, for me, but I've always had loads of support and my family were very supportive as well happy for me to go and they love to hear all my stories when I come back. As the third officer on board, I'm on the bridge from 8 to 12 morning and night time and then my other duties involve the maintenance of all the life-saving appliances and the firefighting equipment. I love the work that the National Oceanography Centre does and it's an incredible position to be in facilitating world-leading ocean science and climate change and oceanography. And Every single trip is different, which is one of the best things. As a third officer, I get far more experience with ships handling and navigating than you maybe would in other sections of the industry. Day in, day out, we're coming on and off station, moving science sites, and the variety of equipment within the National Marine Equipment Pool is huge so every trip is just completely different and we meet amazing people as well the scientists who are so passionate about what they do they dedicate so much of their time and their lives to it and i love to speak to them about what they're doing one of my best memories has to be my first trip actually on the discovery and it was january 2020 and we were down south in the southern oceans and it was my first time ever experiencing ice. And I woke up one morning and saw an iceberg out my porthole. Came up to the bridge and we were just surrounded by them. And I'd set the ship up, we were in DP and we had a CTD in the water and science was underway. And I just made myself a cup of tea and then I was walking back to the DP desk and the front door on the bridge was open. I just heard like a whale blow out the side. I looked over and there's just humpback whales all along the side of the ship. And then over in the distance was Antarctic minke whales. And then just being completely surrounded by these incredible icebergs. That was definitely a moment that I was like, I've made some good decisions to be here. <laughs> and the hardest thing about being at sea is leaving everybody behind. We spend six months of the year away and a lot goes on in that time. From when we leave to when we come back, for us it's like nothing's changed, no time's gone by. But for everybody else, they've got birthdays, they've got different events that are still going on and yeah, so you kind of, you miss all those, all those things, like special moments, but at the same time we have so much time at home that we can be around for and it is a great way of life, like you work when you're away and then you can do anything you want when you're home. I'm the only female officer in the company at the moment, so it would be great if we could have some more women on board. We do still have women in the, the catering and galley department, and there's an abundance of women in, in science, so that's also great to see. So a way of getting more women into a career at sea I think would be things like interviews, like we're doing now, and outreach, and just showing women and young girls that this is an option. I know I've never had any family that went to sea, and I only ever even heard about the career because I knew somebody who wanted to go and do a cadetship, and then that made me look into it. Schools, I think, definitely need to speak about it as more of an option because a lot of the guys who are on board they come from 
a background of seafaring or fishing or anything like that. They're already in a community where it's well known. Um, so, yeah, just talking about it, really. My future dreams and goals, I one day would like to be the captain, hopefully of the RS Discovery. <laughs>